fragrances in this box right now. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. This is Boss Vision where I share with you all everything you need to know about making candles. In today's video, I'm beyond excited to be sharing with you all a spring and summer fragrance haul. Yes guys, but not just any fragrance haul. I'm going to be sharing with you a highly concentrated fragrance melody from none other than Northwood Candle Supply. Northwood is one of those vendors that you never often hear about, but when you do, it's like, oh my God. As I'm talking about them, the sun is just beaming into my house. It's like, God is like, yup, yup, they didn't push it, they didn't get it. They often offer so many dupes that are identical to the original fragrance, so I'm super excited. I already opened up the box um, here, and as you can see, they have fancy, beautiful mailers. There are so many fragrances in this box right now. But I'm just overjoyed with getting the opportunity to share this with you guys today, so definitely stay tuned for the video. Comment down below which fragrances you'll be trying, and if you use my code, you will get some money off. I'll link it down below. Unlike most vendors, it's not a percentage off. You get a full $10 off any order. You really can't beat that, especially with fragrance oils. So yeah, let's just jump right in. By the way, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Please don't play that game, okay? Period. So the first thing we have here is Neon Blossom. So just looking at the bottle, I can already see it's like this light peach flavor, like flavor, peach color. Just giving me the insight that it's probably gonna smell like a little peachy. And I have these blotter strips here that I'm just gonna dip in there so I can get an accurate depiction. Oh my God, this smells so good, guys. So right off the bat, I'm getting rose and peach as well as an undernote of a citrus. So I'm super excited to see what the honest notes are. It's very clean and light. Mmm, it just smells like a wonderful, fine fragrance. Like this is something I would put in a handmade, you know, body care item instead of just a candle. Oh, I'll put this in like a soap. I'm really excited to get into soaps, by the way. Stay tuned for that. I'm gonna get into making soaps. That should be so fun. Okay, so this is giving a peach rose scent, but let's just see what the notes are. Okay, so this cheerful and energetic candle fragrance oil is a blend of fruit, citrus, flow, and herbal notes resting on a complex base of vanilla, musk, and caramel. It also has jasmine and jewel strawberry. Not regular strawberry, jewel strawberry. Oh my God, this smells so good, guys. I keep looking at the viewfinder like to make sure I'm alive, but uh, deceased. <laughs> I love it guys, I give it a 10 out of 10. Next we have sea lavender and musk. I am a huge fan of sea salt and orchid. Sea lavender, I wonder what that'll be like. It's probably gonna take it to the next level and I love anything musk, so let's just see. Oh my God, it smells like a very fine man. Mm. It's like a very strong cologne coupled with like a green apple and almost like a, I don't know, a citrus. So I'd say the musk, of course, you know, maybe a mahogany with green apple and citrus. This is crazy. Wow. Okay, let's take a look. Okay, so the top notes are bitter orange, black pepper, and op opal apple. The middle notes are sea lavender, geranium, and rose. The base notes are tonka bean, leather, and moss and musk. Yes. Okay, so I'm definitely getting the opal apple and the lavender and rose. It seems like their perfumist is very much passionate about rose scents. And they're also getting the base of tonka. I love anything tonka. I think that tonka has a bit of almond in it. I'm not exactly sure. Don't quote me on that, but quote me on that because your girl is a perfumist herself. Okay, period. I am the ultimate fragrance blender. If you struggle with blending fragrances, please check out my video on my fragrance blending method. Take advantage of that. The link is right here. Overall, this is a 100 out of 10. If you're looking for a very light yet masculine scent that would appease to your luxury crowds, I would definitely recommend see Lavender and Musk. It's something that I never would have thought would come in an, a fragrance naturally because typically you'll either get a very strong floral or a very strong a very strong masculine paired with vanilla but instead of being paired with vanilla it's being paired together the match I didn't know I needed oh, 10 out of 10 record oh okay speaking of a rose and a masculine scent we have rose noir okay so initially I'm getting more of the rose so this is a bi scent 
Actually, if you've ever heard of Byretto, it's a very luxury fine fragrance, cologne, eau de parfum, bougie stuff. I can't hear it. But this Rose Noir is a knockoff of that, and it gives you everything twisted and dark. Okay, period. So I'm definitely getting light, subtle hints of rose, barely any. It's most, most mostly the Noir that I'm getting with some sort of pine or leafy or eucalyptus, like a spearmint middle, and then maybe even a leathery scent as a base. Because I've reviewed so many fragrances, I'm getting the top, middle, and base down. Let's just see what the actual notes are. Okay, so the top is cardamom, freesia, grapefruit, and red berries. The heart is lily of the valley, raspberry, rose, damascena, violet, and jasmine. And the base is moss, musk, patchouli, cystus, and lab denim. Okay, so patchouli. Very, very subtle. I can barely smell any patchouli. It's mostly just like this amazing... Cardamom, absolutely. Definitely say this is something very strong for the summer. So I would give this a nine out of 10 just because it's more so a summer scent right now, we're going spring. Next we have Nectarine Blossoms and Honey. Oh my God, that sounds amazing. I'm super excited. Let's see what this smells like. Ooh, okay, so right off the bat, I'm getting coconut. Yeah, I'm getting like a coconut scent right now, actually. It's more so along the lines of a, a, a grapefruit and coconut scent. It's, it's something that I will put in a warm summer candle. It's definitely citrus here and some sweet notes of honey. Oh my God, it just reminds me of living in, on a tropical island. Nectarine blossoms and honey. Love it, guys. Let's see what the notes are. Okay, so this is actually a Joe Malone scent. It has a Nectarine Blossoms and Honey Cologne. So this would be Nectarine Keach and Cassis and a delicate spring flower in the note of Asa Akasha Honey. Sweet and delightfully playful. I love that for them. So the, the, ooh, okay. So this cologne would be $165 in a large size and $80 in a small. And you get to have the custom scent from Northwood at a better cost. I definitely recommend checking them out. If you are a fan of Joe Malone, this will definitely get you what you need. 100 out of 10. 100. Next, we have Rainbow Sherbet or Sherbet or Sherbet. Sherbet. <laughs> How do y'all pronounce Sherbet? Like, let me know. <laughs> I, I think it's going to smell really yummy. Let's see. Waft. Wafty, wafty, wafty. The sun is setting. So, <laughs> um, this is Leila Bo, you guys. What? Leila Bo is one of those bougie places in the nicer mall. It's not even in every mall. And 100 milliliters of this is $322. So, three ounces of this is $322 at Leila Bo, and you will get it from Northwood for like six bucks. Their perfume is focused on very highly concentrated scents. So, mmm, -hmm, so yummy. It's just, it reminds you of like going to the ice cream truck and grabbing one of those popsicles that had gum in it. Do y'all remember the ones with gum? That's what it smells like. It just is, oh, it's so good. It's like a coke, like very subtle coconut, but more so focused on apple. And peach, I'm like trying in my head, like, how, like I want to know these by heart, cause I, I don't know, it's just passion. I'm really passionate about knowing it by heart to help you all, but it's just so good. All right, let's see what the notes are. Okay, so base notes, I had to jump, y'all. Raspberry crystals, apple, creamy coconut. Okay, I knew it was a little coconut in there, but it's not overpowering. It's just very subtle. And then, wow, the clouds are like leaning, like so dark right now. <laughs> ADD. Then the middle notes is leaf green, soft floral, and then the top notes are bright citrus and fruity melon. Amazing. Like, what? This smells heavenly. Like, the melon is what it is. Like, I wanted it to be apple, but it's melon and leaf green. This is, oh, they call it a sweet and nostalgic summer treat. The ice cream truck, guys. 
ice cream truck. So if you have any customers that want something that smells like ice cream, or if you make those like decadent candles, I definitely recommend Rainbow Sherbet, Sherbert. This is so good, guys. I love this. I hate to be too like hype, but this is it. This is that one for the summer. Okay, next we have the Daydreams. Just as I can imagine, this is probably a dupe. Some of their names, like if it doesn't say like the description of the scent, I just assume it's probably a dupe of a fine fragrance. So Daydreams is probably something. Oh my God, it's very perfumey. Let's see what we have here, guys. Oh, wow. Yeah. So it's a very clean scent. It's just more so like a floral to me. I'm getting a, a very strong freesia, if you will, and a citrus, maybe gardenia, like a, a freesia, gardenia, but then like a clean, clean scent, like a powdery scent. Mm, it's good. Like. I love this for us. Um, I would say this is something that reminds me of if you went to Abercrombie and Fitch and you sprayed that, uh, if you walked in there, that scent in the room is just super masculine. This is what it smells like. Or even, <laughs> have you ever gotten any perfumes from Rue 21? Like it just reminds me of those because it's like a stronger scent, yet it's still a mist, you know? So it's a harsh, I mean, so it's a subtle scent. But let's see what the notes are. So the top notes are tangerine, neroli, and tiara flower. Yes. The heart is orange blossom, jasmine, coconut, cashmere, and sandalwood. I'm not really getting coconut. And the base is helotrope, vanilla, amber, and sweet musk. We have to find out what helotrope is. Warm, delicate, powdery floral with vanilla and marzipan notes and a trace of spicy licorice. It's very powdery, yes. I definitely love this scent. It's very light and perfect for the spring and summer time. I would definitely just recommend uh, doing eight to 10%, really 10%, don't go any higher just because it's such a concentrated fragrance. That's really where Northwood wins. The fragrances are super strong. So yeah, I would give this a 10 out of 10. Daydreams, almost reminds me of Mariah Carey, you know, album, Daydreams. <laughs> Next, we have Lemon and Rosemary Palms. Okay, let's see. Ooh, just from the lid, it smells so good. It kind of smells like green. Let's see. Oh my God, it's almost like a mahogany teak wood. With, of course, notes of lemon. This reminds me of Mahogany Apple from Bath & Body Works. Come okay, the top notes are Lemon, Sun Kiss, Bergamot, Rosemary, and Palm. The middle notes are Orange Blossom, English Lavender, White Thyme. And the base notes Tonka Bean, Blue Amber, Sandalwood, Satin Wood, and Fluid Musk. I've never heard of Satin Wood. God, it smells so good. Like this is a very strong masculine with, I guess, notes of clean lemon. It's the bergamot. I think the bergamot really does it. You've heard of bergamot waters from Bath & Body Works as well. It's so good. It's a very perfume. This is a fine fragrance. I would put this in a room spray or a linen spray. Or even a body perfume if you want to go there. Like, you should go there, you know? They also use essential oils, lemon, orange, and rosemary. Very impressed, okay? I would give this a 100 out of 10. Next, we have Peach Mimosa. Oh my God, that just sounds like a happy hour. I'm super excited. Let's see. So yellow. Very highly concentrated fragrances, y'all. Oh, whoa. So all I'm getting is grapefruit and champagne. I don't even smell peach. It's like a burst of grapefruit and champagne. Mm, mm, this is good. It's like a citrus oasis here. Love that for us. Okay, let me see what the notes are. Champagne is the first thing you see. Fresh orange and grapefruit, fresh picked peach, okay, hibiscus syrup, black currant, and vanilla agave. This is so good. This is so damn good. Like bleep, 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 bleep. 
like essential oils are orange oil, lemon oil, black pepper oil, and galbanum oil. Very impressed with this scent. Uh, it's good to use peach in a mimosa because typically you're thinking of like an orange juice and champagne, but for a peach burst, I feel like peach is an orange 2.0 when, when it comes to smells and the grapefruit really sets it off. Like I have never smelled anything like this, this strong. I think it's the black currant as well. I believe black currant has like blackberries in it. It's like a very dark berry that really complements the peach well. I would definitely use this in the summer. Uh, definitely a nine out of ten, just because it's spring right now. But summertime, we need to prepare for for summer. If you if you fail to plan, you plan to fail. Okay, so definitely get this for your summer line. Next, we have LYS41, which I'm pretty sure is a type of something. It literally says type on the side. I don't know what LYS is, but I'm excited to try it. Let's see. Oh. So it's a very masculine scent with some notes of vanilla here. I love it. I think it's such a very strong perfume scent as well. So it's just back to if you want to do a fine fragrance line, I would definitely recommend these dupes from Northwood because they'll take your business to the next level. All right, let's just see what the notes are. So LYS 41 is an overwhelming white floral. This is from Le Labo, guys. <sighs> The sun came out when I said that. Le Labo. Um, this is Le Labo, you guys. What? Le Labo is one of those bougie places in the nicer mall. It's not even in every mall. And 100 milliliters of this is $322. So three ounces of this is $322 at Le Labo. And you will get it from Northwood for like six bucks. Can't beat that. That's insane. And it's so high quality. The scent is very distinctive. Their perfume is focuses on very highly concentrated scents. So this one has a blend of jasmine, tuberose, absolute, and lily, bewitching in its noble, warm, and sunny approach, yet treacherous once caught in its web of noble woods, vanilla Madagascar and musk. I would call it treacherous as a, as a candle name. That's such a good name, treacherous. What? Treacherous. That's bougie, okay? Love it, 10 out of 10. Next we have Bay 19 type. So it says B-A-I-E, Bay. So it's probably Le Labo again, just cause I'm learning what Le Labo is like. Um, I've never had it, but if I had to guess. Okay, so it's very like, this lid, it smells like um, buttery, but we'll see what the actual scent is because I hate to say it, but sometimes the lid may not give you the accurate depiction unless you dip, dip in waft. You need to dip in waft. It's not just about the lid anymore. It's very peppery. I was about to go for the notes, but I'm just giving you my honest opinion. It's very peppery. I'm also getting like a green. This is something that you wouldn't normally buy um, in terms of something you wouldn't normally see in stores is very rare you know okay bay 19 i'm gonna call it bay because it just seems like it's a bay but it's very peppery to me i feel like it's very very strong and something that i would use in a room spray as well as a, a candle just in the same collection i like it it's not necessarily something i'm obsessed with um, but I think it's something you should definitely look into. It's very cologne-y. It kind of reminds me of like going to the mall and you know when you're walking past the, uh, the, the aisles. You know when you're walking past like Nordstrom Rack and like would you like to smell this? That's what it gives. Like it gives very fine fragrance and luxury. I would love to use this in a, a collection. Uh, we have to see the notes. Oh my God, it's on my hand now. Truth is, Bay 19 should have been called Water 19. Not that it smells like anything. <laughs> like, though, nothing smells like it, but it is a crisp, wet, drenched effect. Exactly. So let's see. They have an ingredient list, but that's not the point. So, okay, so it's the dry juniper berry, the patchouli, the green leaves, all soaked by a beautiful, luminous, magnetic rain after a long drought and the joy that comes with it. So these fragrances are not necessarily, are not only 
highly concentrated, but they're conversation starters. So if you're at a farmer's market and someone has this desire for fine fragrances, but they're on a budget, that's who you could speak to, especially if you have farmer's markets with cash. You could really position it that they will be able to have looks for less. And you don't want to say it's cheap. You don't want to say it's a dupe. You don't want to say it's a knockoff. This is lux for less or a more cost effective option. This is more sustainable. It's more practical pricing. You know, something that doesn't take away from the value, but it still gives them the insight into it's going to be a lower price. So yes, definitely a 20 out of 10. Bay 19 is something you want to get to make sure you increase sales. Next we have Narcissist Type. I like that he puts type the owner puts type on the side. Um, it really gives you insight into the fact that it's a inspire inspired type there. Um, so that should be, I'm super excited to smell this. It smells like heavenly, like from, I think it's from Kmart. Like, <laughs> back in my day, y'all, cause I'm old. I'm not old, I don't wanna say that, I am aged. Um, I lived five minutes from Kmart and we would walk to five minutes walk. No, it was like 30 minute walking, one minute drive. We would walk to Kmart and I always got a sample of Victoria's Secret's art spray, Heavenly. So it's not from Kmart, but it was sold in Kmart at that time. This is back in the day, back in the day. And um, this is exactly what it smells like very light very feminine it's completely unavailable on their site now um victoria's secrets heavenly it's on it's on victoria's secrets website right now um it's 59.95 old de parfum i love this set this is something that is nostalgic as it relates to any 90s babies wanting a scent that just reminds you of your childhood definitely recommend narcissist i don't know who this is by i wonder if it's by Leila Bo. let me check Narcissus. Okay, so this fragrance, top notes are fresh, clean, floral, the middle spice, and jasmine. Yes, yeah, so I thought it was a bit of pepper, but it's a spice. Um, and the base notes, velvet, woods, musk, and sweet earth. Mm. You guys are gonna love this one. If you don't get anything else besides, I'd say definitely the peach mimosa and this. What the heck? So. It says that it's inspired by something, but I'm curious what it's inspired by. Um, I think there's a laundry detergent called Narcissus. You neither here nor there. Overall, Narcissus is a winner in my book. Okay, guys, next we have high maintenance. Okay, type. So I wonder who that's by. So upon Googling it, it's everywhere. Okay, so this is compared to the scent by Tyler Candle. So right off the bat, I'm getting notes of jasmine and vanilla and a little bit of like a green lily floral. And then there's like this powdery scent to it of a perfume. I love it. I think it's it's something very unique that you wouldn't normally smell. And that's probably why this brand was doing so well enough for the vendor to want to make an inspired scent. It's unique. It's going to be something that if you were to sell to your customers, they're really going to resonate with this. So I definitely recommend checking this out. Uh, I would give it like an 8 out of 10. It's not my best seller, but I think that... If you are a fan of patchouli, um, spice, cyclamen, lily, jasmine, you would love this patchouli. Cause I'm not a patchouli girl, to be honest. If y'all see my my site, you'll know I'm really a fan of vanillas and musk. But patchouli is an acquired taste, and some people are obsessed with patchouli. So if you are one of those, go for high maintenance, cause it's subtle patchouli, but it's there, and it's not overpowering. It's just there. Next, we have sun-drenched vineyard type. So I wonder who actually that is by. Oh, it smells so good. Oh, it smells like melon off the lid. Let's see. Oh my God, yes, I'm getting so much melon and green. This is so good. Melon, green, citrus. 
Mmm, it almost smells like gum. Like, you know, like a really good Wrigley's spearmint gum. No, not spearmint, but like extra gum. The pink gum. That's what it smells like. <laughs> oh, I love it. It's a very strong fruit. I believe grapefruit. Mmm. It's like a bubble gum. I love this for us. Sun drenched vineyard. So I'd say grapefruit, green, lily. This is something you would want in the summer. Let's see what the notes are. Okay, wow. <laughs> so Sun Drenched Vineyard is a candle from Bath and Body Works that was around in like 10 years ago and it's completely discontinued. They don't have it anymore. They like stop talking about it. And because they don't have it, you can take that to your advantage and actually have it in your line and be exclusive. So I definitely recommend Sun Drenched Vineyard because it's so premium. But let's see what the notes are. Fruity citrus and grape, as I mentioned. Leaf green, as I mentioned. Jasmine, raspberry crystals, velvet woods, and apple. Okay. And also use an orange essential oil. That is amazing. I am a, a fan of Sundress Vineyard. I think this is something that will go far in terms of sales for the summer. Next, we have Lost Cherry. <laughs> I was not expecting to see this. Okay. What's on my list? Because there's a list here. I didn't even see it on the freaking list. Okay. So. The list also has what type it is, well, because on the on the jars it just says type, but Lost Cherry, if you didn't know, is a Tom Ford type, okay? Tom Ford Lost Cherry has been my favorite scent for quite some time. First of all, it smells like to me like Black Cherry Merlot from Bath & Body Works Candles. Those candles are so hard to find, they're completely sold out right now. And um, Lost Cherry gives you everything about that in a perfume. And the perfume's like $500. And I remember I was dating this guy, he was like, I love that scent, it smells so good. Cause it's just that fresh, like Lost Cherry lasts a long time and it just is heavenly, guys. So I'm super excited to see if this fragrance actually lives up to the Fine fragrance, because I know specifically the difference, because I have it in my house upstairs. I can go get Lost Cherry. <laughs> but let's see, okay, so. It's so much stronger. It's like the perfume in fragrance oil form. Like, how do they do that? Ugh, it's like an almond cherry burst. Cause that's really what it is. A cherry almond perfume. Like men love that. Like it smells so good. Like 10 out of 10 recommend if you want to do Valentine's candles. It's not too late. You can still make a Valentine's candle line. Oh my God, I love this. Okay, 10 out of 10 recommend Lost Cherry. We don't even need to look at the nose. I'll put the nose on the screen. This is a must buy. I can't believe I gotta go. I gotta go online tonight and get a large size. Or Norfolk, if you're watching this, please send me a large size of this lost cherry. It'll be a beaut. I'm deceased. This is my favorite scent in the world. Like, and of all that, all the scents they could possibly send, they sent this. This is just divine, divine intervention there, guys. But yes, one billion out of ten. Okay. Next, we have unnamed type. So unnamed like i wonder why it's unnamed it gives you no insight into what we're going to smell like we're just going to go in blind we don't know we don't know so we will find out in the next episode of dragon ball z fragrances so let's see <laughs> okay it's like a green leafy eucalyptus i don't know it's like Green leafy eucalyptus. I'm not really into it. Maybe even a peppery spice or something like that. Let's see what it, the notes are. Oh, okay. This is Byretto again. Okay, this is an out of stock scent by Byretto, which I love to see. Because it's out of stock over there, people are pissed. And you could use that to your advantage in your marketing strategy. Like, I ever wanted Byretto but couldn't get it. I got something 2.0. Period, period, period. So the top is Janicore, pink pepper. I told you it was a pepper. Lush violet, aura stem, fir balsam, 
tree moss like i said those are not my vibes um but if you do have a person who's fan of balsam uh pink pepper or a stem i was in public and someone was like do you have a balsam say i didn't have one this would be it unnamed is that balsam for them so yes i'd give it a seven out of ten because i'm not a, a, a balsam girl but if you are you would love this <sighs> last but certainly not least we have lemon and eucalyptus i said certainly not least but we don't even know so we'll see it's lemon and eucalyptus those are not normally my vibe together i mean lemon is also you know aromatherapy eucalyptus is aromatherapy but i'm like together no 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 let's see though let's see okay so the top notes are fresh clean citrus leaf look i'm just looking at it i didn't even check the notes for myself <laughs> let me look for myself first completely blind okay automatically i didn't even touch i didn't even smell it yet it just burst with spearmint oh it's like super lemon so lemon so it's like a lemon but like a sweet orange y'all know what i mean there's a difference between like a a very citrus bitter orange and then a sweet orange this is like a sweet orange lemon orange and a very fresh like a pepperminty scent i like it i think you would Benefit from blending this with like a vanilla for like a cream sickle candle. Oh my god. Yes So the notes are fresh clean citrus leaf middle notes lemon geranium eucalyptus the base notes are fresh clover and orange blossom So yeah, such a lemon orange burst uh, With under notes of eucalyptus love that for them Why do I always think eucalyptus smell experiment? I don't know <laughs> But that was the end of this insane haul Look at how many Usually I only review 10 fragrances. This was like 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 fragrances. So just it just speaks to how Northwood operates. They just be doing the most, uh, which is really good. You want you want a vendor that does the most. Uh, I hope y'all enjoyed this video. I did. I'm obsessed. I can't believe how valuable this experience was in terms of their dupes or type inspired fragrances are next level um the highly concentrated fragrances are something you're going to need in the spring and summer 2024 because the competition is thick so you want to have that high strong you know product for people and i hope this video was helpful comment down below what you think and if so please make sure you give it a thumbs up subscribe if you haven't already share this in fragrance and candle making groups because a lot of times there are candle makers who don't know that I have a channel where I give you all the free tea. But yeah, I hope you enjoy the rest of your day, your week, your next hour. Just live in your purpose and love life. Okay, bye.